Hello everyone, I'm Gary Nelson, the Cornell Local Roads Program Instructor for the Pavement Maintenance Workshop. Since we couldn't do the workshops this year, we produced three 10 to 15 minute videos on the bread and butter pavement techniques in your toolbox, on crack repairs, pothole patching, and thin overlays. You can view these now on any of the Cornell Local Roads social media platforms. In the actual workshop, we devote several sessions to the thought processes on how to choose a repair, where there can be a maintenance technique or needs to be a more extensive rehabilitation solution. So we decided to produce this short introduction video where we kind of take a whirlwind tour through these initial workshop sessions. If you're a seasoned department professional, you may find this a bit redundant, but if you're a newly elected superintendent, or perhaps a new employee uh, just starting your career in the department, we think you'll find this helpful. Without a doubt, in your new position, you will soon find that this whole pavement management and pavement maintenance thing takes quite a bit of effort. Okay, so let's get started, folks. First thing we're gonna do, let's define pavement management. Doing the right repair in the right place at the right time. And uh, how do you choose the right repair? Well, a good place to start is knowing the overall condition of the road in question. If left unchecked, all roads will follow this typical pavement deterioration curve kind of at their own pace because they may have, you know, the original design and construction materials are, are gonna be different for each road. They will follow this curve, but some will do it quicker than others. Maybe your department already has a road condition survey um, where your roads are ranked and you know where they stand as far as condition. Um, if not, the Cornell Asset Management Program can help you on this. They send an engineering intern and they can help you develop a survey. And um, they will check both the severity and extent of the stresses on all your roads. Now, wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice if all your roads were in good shape and existed up here before they start dropping off into cases where more heavy duty reconstruction process are gonna be needed? And unfortunately, that's usually not the case. And this is not a good thing for obvious And you've all seen this. The numbers speak for themselves. Each dollar of rehabilitation or pavement maintenance cost up here is gonna cost four to five dollars if we get down here to extensive rehabilitation or reconstruction, okay? Now, here's a good definition of pavement maintenance, doing inexpensive repairs on good roads to keep them good. And of course, here's where they fit in on the curve, up near the top, and we highlight these in green and blue. Here's a list of, a comprehensive list of all the repairs in your toolbox starting right from do nothing, drainage maintenance, all the way down to reclamation, stabilization, and reconstruction, the very expensive techniques. Now here's another breakdown. If you look, the maintenance activities, crack repairs, patching, thin wearing courses, as opposed to rehabilitation, you're not gonna add structural strength. They're gonna cost less but there still, is, there still is a cost. However, yeah, you're not adding structural strength, but you are adding value. What you're doing basically is you're preserving what you have, and that's the goal of preventive maintenance, okay? And here's a bottom line. The goal of preventive maintenance program is to keep pavements in this area where costs are reasonably low. 
So basically, if you inherit, if you're lucky enough to inherit roads up here on the deterioration curve that are still good, lesser cost maintenance activities are going to help you prolong that. Okay. So let's say day two in your job, you get a call, you have a pothole problem. You send a crew out, and this is what they find. Okay. Day three, you get a call. Hey, we have a pothole problem, and this is what they find. Entirely different situation requiring entirely different repairs, levels of repair, but both were described to you as a pothole problem. Next week, another example, next week you send out a crew, let's do some crack repairs. So by noon, they go out to this road, and by noon, they're, they're pretty much finished with this job here, uh, primarily repairing the construction joint here, which is opened up, then that's a pretty common situation. Then they go here. Officially, officially, these will be classified, let's say, medium to high severity, load-induced longitudinal cracks. Totally, totally different cause than the previous slide. So, to sum up kind of pavement repair alternatives, whether you do have a road survey condition, then you know the conditions of the road or not, first thing you wanna do, go out and observe the distress. Do you have one pothole? Do you have a total disaster? Or do you have something in between? Then analyze a probable cause. Is it a construction joint that is merely opened up, which again is very common, easily repaired? Or do you have a potential sub-base drainage problem similar to the second slide? Finally, evaluate the alternatives, which is really kind of a fancy way of say, saying, choose the right repair. And hopefully, hopefully, most will be in the maintenance category instead of the more extensive situations. Okay, so there's a quick tour through choosing the right repair. So before finishing and finalizing your maintenance schedule uh, and sending the crews out, we invite you all to take a look at our three pavement maintenance videos, crack repair, pothole patching, and thin overlays. Thank you very much.